Engineers. My name is Crash and this is my make it up as I go along modded playthrough in survival mode. Now admittedly that was started before the survival update so you can see what he's looking at can't you? It's a sniper drone. And he's firing. Right he needs to be taking out control seat Where's the control seat? There it is. Oh, I can't reach him with the rail gun. Switch to. Just can't reach him. with that one either. Right, let's find... Do something about my health first. Hopefully the shields, were, the shields are down by the looks of it. Ladder animation takes so long. Right, so what am I going to do about this ship? Base shields even on? What are the guns doing? They're firing on my own sh ship. You're supposed to be off. What on earth is going on? Why is everything shooting at everything else?
What is going on? Finally. What happened to that stalker drone, that sniper drone? I have no idea what's been going on here. So they're back on. Do I just have to cycle everything on and off? So that's the base. Hopefully sorted out. Now let's get back onto the Gemini and see. Maybe we can sort out what's going on with your weapons. Well, everything's quiet now. And all the weapons are back on. So I don't know what that was all about. Hmm. Oh well. A few minutes of terror. Why are you on the... get damaged everything else here oh, have I got my visor closed so Talking of which, what's happened to the base shield? Why is that red? Oh, it's coming back online. Thank you. About time too. That had me worried. Do I need more power then? Is that what you're saying? Apparently you need more power. Because that took the shield stand really quick. really means I need some energy shields. So anywhere down here I can put some energy shields just for the base. Not as if we haven't got enough reactors mind you. I'm not getting a display on my HUD. Why am I not getting a display on my HUD? Is that switched off? It's on a control point.
Okay, panic over. Right, well, I don't know what caused that, but I had to reset everything, including the shields. Um, I don't know, but we need a way of shooting up, directly up. Because that, although it looks near vertical, has a blind spot. So, I'm not really sure what I'm doing here, but I'm going to try and fit a battleship cannon on the side. So I'm a head on. Actually, I could bring one straight over from there, can I? Then I'll feed it. Being built. What are you out of? I've got to switch Bob. I've got to switch Bob on again. Is that something I didn't? I didn't reset it, obviously. Some of these aren't actually connected. Thank you. Meteor storm inbound. I look rather ugly. Let's see what range this battleship can has on it. Hmm. I don't think that's going to be the solution. I want something with a one and a half kilometers range if possible. If it's directly above us then two or three kilometers I wouldn't mind. So let's pop this. Hopefully Bob recognizes his grind color this week. Meteor storm inbound. Uh, Bob Show me any build state at the moment. I'm flying to it. There we go. Apparently, it's 100% constructed, but it's still being constructed. It looks good. Anyway. Uh, 
That's a bit more like it. That's pretty vertical. Right, there's a bit more ammunition put into our production. Right, so hopefully now if we get a vertical craft like that sniper drone. That will take care of it. Do something better here, couldn't I? Really, let's be honest about it. You know, I'm tempted to build a trap for these hacker drones. Where does the shield keep messing about? One minute I've got green dots around it, next minute I haven't. Anyway, as I was saying, I think I'm building a trap for these. A tower over here somewhere. With a, an antenna, perhaps a battery. Yes, you're dealing with Luddites. We've just got all our antenna switched off. Say, uh, an antenna, a battery, perhaps a solar panel just to keep it charged up a bit. Something for these to have a go at and try and get a bit closer so we can take them out. I wonder if that would work. Meteor storm well, inbound. There's only one way to find out, really, isn't there? So let's get this ready. I'm going to have to carry the parts out there. I don't want to put a bob out there. Aha! There we go. Static grid lure. 
I'm not sure this is going to work, but if there's a hacker drone that turns up, does he need something to hack, though? Energy low. Alright, let's get back. Top of my energy on. Let's do it over here this time. Anyway, oh, before all this started, I was going to give you a quick tour. As you can see, I've, been, I've taken the liberty of continuing off camera to build a base. Obviously, it's not complete yet, but there's obviously a lot more to it than was in the last episode. So, my apologies for forgetting to mention that up to now. I'm not sure that's going to work, but we will see. We will see. Energon, please. Thank you. Right, so the next thing I need to think about is some skin shielding. The yeah, energy shields for the base. I think that would be a good idea. We'd add to the power drain. Which means we're probably going to have to increase our number of reactors again. What about a solar field? There's lots of things that this base needs. But well, we are where we are at the moment. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. I know these last few episodes have been much the same. So thank you for sticking with it. It is much appreciated. And thank you for those who leave the comments. Um, but I will see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.